once the cow heats up, it takes her a long time to cool down. So when we don't have cool nights, when we have hot days and hot nights, they really struggle. So farmers do different things to try and alleviate that stress. We built this barn. We built it with summer in mind. Um, we've got open sidewalls so the curtains can go up in the winter and down in the summer so it allows air through. We have big doors on the end that allow air to tunnel through and blow through. The large roofs that the cows are housed under um, not only shield the rain and snow but provide shade for summertime and it is very important to have shade. This barn can be 20 degrees cooler inside versus outside on a hot, bright summer day. We like to keep them comfortable. Um, we do allow them access to the pasture out there, but a lot of times in extreme heat, the cows like to come in, they like to lay in out of the sun, um, and they come in and they lay into our free stalls. We bed with, um, there's what we call a mattress on there. There's crushed limestone under the mattress, and then the mattress is bedded with straw. This particular barn and several of our other barns use sand for the bedding surface under the freestall bed. And it's comfortable for the cows because it stays soft and it stays cool in the summertime. Bacteria like nice, warm, moist conditions to grow. And so you can see an uh, increase in mastitis or utter infection cases and makes it really important to have the, the bedding uh, nice and dry so that those uh, organisms aren't growing and, and getting into the udder. Much of the sand is recycled. Uh, we can separate the sand from the manure, clean it, dewater it, and within a matter of two or three weeks later, it comes right back in the barn as clean as it, as clean as it comes from the gravel pit. Every three or four days, we go in with fresh straw, make it nice and comfy for the cows. They can all line up laying down, you know, chewing their cud, and they're just very relaxed with the wind blowing over them. As you can see, now it's getting warmer out. We have the curtains up. We've got this natural ventilation coming in. And, um, and actually, most days, that's all we need. But then when it does get really hot, when it gets above 70 degrees out, which to, me, to you or me, that would be comfortable. But to a cow, they're already getting warm. So we have these fans. If you look, we have fans here that turn on when it gets 70 degrees out. There's like 24 big fans in here. They're on a thermostat. So we set the thermostat to about 68 degrees when, you know, if it's at the middle of the night or during the middle of the day, the fans will kick on and they'll run until that temperature gets brought down. On this side of the barn, we have sprinkler systems that also sprinkle the cows on the very hottest days of the year. In July and August, these things will pump a lot of water onto the cows um, during the hottest part of the summertime. And they're on a thermostat and they're on a timer, so they're not on all the time. Uh, generally, we set them to be on two, every two minutes, and these nozzles are about uh, three to four gallon per minute nozzles. Once the cows get damp with water, then the, the fans blowing air across them create that natural cooling effect, very similar to our air conditioner. Cows uh, on a hot summer day can drink 40 gallon plus of water. It is important to have plenty of it. Uh, in this barn, it, at every 30 stalls, there's water where essentially eight to 10 cows can drink from at one time. We have big water fountains at the end of each free stalls here. Plenty of room for the cows to get up and drink whenever they want. Um, you know, during the summer months, we clean them out daily, make sure it is fresh, clean water. And I always say, if I wouldn't drink it, I don't want my cows to drink it. Feed quality is all, an important aspect in all these herds, um, whether it's summer or winter. But in summer, we like to think that we, we spend a little more time thinking about feeding and keeping it fresh, feeding twice a day, just making sure it's not getting too hot, spoiling. The feed heats up. And so, you know, in the winter months, we can get by mixing it up three or four hours before we feed them. 
summer months, we mix it up and distribute it right to the cow so there's no heat up of the feed and it's more palatable for the cow to do that. We do this about every three hours. He'll go around to all the barns, push up the feed. Uh, not, all, not all the time does it need pushed up, but just the motion of the tractor, the sound of the tractor will get cows up and eating. We strive to produce a wholesome, high quality, inexpensive product for the consumer. It's very important that we accomplish that. And by cooling these cows in the summertime, it can happen.